We got one more. We keep finding them. The Bill Evans and Steve uh, Barlstein mm. fight over Donald Trump's uh, oh, yeah. wife's name. Yeah. Have you seen this? Mm. This is the new dress. There's something old, something The weatherman new. is taunting the oh, anchor wow. guy. Yeah, it's the the anchor uh, says her name wrong, and the weatherman starts taunting him, and he gets pissed. Like, what? Well, the, you're the fucking weatherman. Mm -hmm. Why are you taunting me, motherfucker? <laughs> Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. This is the big dress. There's something old, something new, and something that costs about a hundred grand. Here's a look at the wedding dress made for a supermodel. Melania Nels, the former or the future Miss. <laughs> Let's wait, wait, go over that name again, Steve. That was, what was that? You know what? Why don't you do it, Bill? No, I'm not the anchor, Steve. Melania, right? Why don't you go over? Why don't no, you do it? I'm not the anchor. Well, you know what? Then, then I'll pipe down over <laughs> well, there during well, the video. Well, well, then you? what then, Steve? Go ahead, do it, Bill. <laughs> it has 300 feet of satin. If you're not the anchor, then don't interrupt me. <laughs> I would just, I wouldn't know Man, what If you you're said. not the anchor, then go, don't. Go, baby, go. Go. The gown was designed by John Galliano for Christian Dior. <laughs> and the bride plans another dress of your wing design after the couple's first dance. The wedding is set for Saturday. Why don't you give it a shot there, Bill? Hey, I'm just representing the audience. I'm I, just I heard, representing. I know. heard moon in the mouth. <laughs> My bad. I'm, I'm My just... bad. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm not looking for an apology, Steve. I know, I'm, I'm just I'm saying, sorry. would you like to take another shot? No, I wouldn't. I, I, don't, I can't take a shot at it. That's why I do the weather. I don't read that stuff. Right. It is so cold it is outside. Cold. Mm. It's cold in here, too. <laughs> Take a shot at the weather if you want. I don't, <laughs> I don't matter. I'm good with that. Hey, dude, I'm. Okay. I get, I get paid either way. Oh, you, 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 you. The weather to start today, and uh, it will be a day where it will be a cold day. It's, we yeah. lucked out and got that one on our own. We just happened to be rolling. We tape. were watching nope. that as it happened. No yeah, one no. has that one. That one never made no, it to YouTube or anything. No, local people get in each other's asses. Oh, they really do. Yeah. I, sometimes when I do stand up on the road, I do like some TV morning show. Mm -hmm. As if anybody that's watching the morning TV is going to oh, those are the worst. Yeah. Are the worst. But I, it was this one in Sacramento, and it was the usual team, kind of older guy and lady with too much makeup. <laughs> and but they had put in a young guy, like hoping that that was going to beef up, you know, that's yeah, going to yeah, bring in the younger get demo. Get ladies to watch it. it was yeah. Some fucking kid, some fucking guy who had to show on Comedy Central for a minute. I forget his name, Chris something. I forget his name. But anyway. Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> but so he. Uh, I said, hey, uh, uh, he said, yeah, I'm stuck here in Sacramento doing local news. What a shitty job, you know, but during the break. Oh. And I said, and, and uh, sitting right next to him is the anchor who's been there for like 50 years. And I said to the guy, to the young guy, you know, it's a job. You should be grateful that you're working. There's nothing wrong with local news. It's a, it's a career. And the, and the old anchor goes, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, Could you no, listen to him, no. please? And like, they got into serious? a huge yelling match. <laughs> oh, and then we're great. on the air in a second. Hi, good hey, morning. how you doing, everybody? <laughs> Spread the love. We love yeah. each other. I love it. We've had some of those around here. Who we can? <laughs> oh yeah, why don't you play the Jim Norton Opie one? Nah, that was yeah. on the air though. We didn't hide that. That was done yeah, on no the air. shit. That was on the air, man. For an hour, unfortunately. Really? And I was that. Did you hear how that whole that fucking bitch during that last segment was uh, sitting there trying? And she goes, "Well, goodbye <laughs> now." Yeah, that was me. I fucking grew tits and my cock turned into a pussy in a second when these two started going at it. We went at it and we honestly thought it was like five minutes. Seriously, maybe wow. seven minutes. Someone goes, dude, you guys just went at it for 15 minutes. It was oh 15 God. minutes where... I can't imagine 50, 50. that. This wasn't a fucking joke. It wasn't a bit. I mean, wow. serious. Listen to me, fuck face. I can't like imagine that. Like that kind that. of shit. And I, all of a sudden, I was, I was seven years old. And my mommy and daddy <laughs> were arguing, That's and awful. the spaghetti hit the wall <laughs> and went down the wall, and I was watching it. My father threw the spaghetti, and I saw the sauce going down the wall. Same feeling. I was like, stop it. Stop. Oh. Were you uncomfortable? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I think I said was something like, what did I say? Holy shit. <laughs> I just went, oh, fuck. Oh, whatever. It was like Spinal Tap, where... where uh, it was just uh, the two guys are arguing in the yeah. studio, yeah. and then the bass player and the drummer are in the behind the glass booth, and they just go, uh, "This is all we fucking need." <laughs> like they have no input on it and no. can't stop it. No, that was me. It was just like two brothers fighting though, because everyone's like. Then there was uh, all sorts of discussions, like that's the end of the show. This is yeah. it. This is gonna yeah. break them all up. And me and Jim talked, and it was like 
it took 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Even though we fought for over, almost an hour, mm -hmm. it was 10 seconds. Well, you got sorry, it out. I'm sorry, too. And that you was it. It, it. It's so fucked up because it started during a break. And then we go back live. And to just do the show, you can do it. But at that point, it was impossible for these two. Yeah. But it's also, it's, it, it would have been so phony and forced. Yeah. It's like, we, I mean, look, we're not the most perfectly honest people. We're fairly honest we about what's going on. We try to be as honest. We're, we try to be more honest than anyone else doing this dumb and job. It, it would have been yeah. a lie to have not just ignored. It just bled into the thing well, that happened. There's a degree of what's going on during breaks or before the show mm -hmm. that you can then be a professional yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know mm -hmm. technically a professional and get in and do your job then if it passes that point mm -hmm. you are incapable of sitting and looking at that person <laughs> right. and fucking so let's do the story on the fucking chick that uh, went to the strip club and it, you know you just look and go hey motherfucker <laughs> you know you want to fucking punch you mm -hmm. <laughs> there are guys that can do that though there are yeah, guys that can fight like it. that and go right back into it yeah. so uh, it's like yeah hey how you doing that's uh, why those shows are awful well yeah, yeah. those are one market sensations the best yep. part of the fight, in the middle of it, all of a sudden, just went, holy shit. Yeah, I just went, <laughs> holy shit. The, oh, or, oh, holy shit. Oh, oh well, you were alone shit. in here. You're yeah, I, here. it was oh. done. It was pretty yeah. much just, uh, like, I was, at the beginning, I tried mediating something a little like, guys, not during the show, let's, you know. Right. It's like, oh, you know, this fucking guy, this shit. And it's like, all right, I'll I've, step back. I've been doing the show out. with Anthony for 12 years. I think that was the first and only time I didn't even notice he was in the room. I had no wow. clue. Yeah. No clue. Oh, he was these here. These two were. No, I, I, at one point, not even, no clue that we were even broadcasting the thing. And the way the fight went, it was you, your two tactics. It was what, like watching Ultimate Fighting, where mm -hmm. one's a grappler yeah. and one's just a fighter because Opie was the in your face go fuck your mother mm -hmm. fuck you guy mm -hmm. and Jimmy is the oh yeah really really Opie <laughs> really well well why don't you tell me like the like I'm gonna get him with intellect and yeah. sarcasm yeah. and yeah. passive aggressive <laughs> and, then, and to watch the two styles was really cool wow, <laughs> wow. I yeah, know because the bull the bulldog which would have been Opie yep I don't know. Jimmy he rushes the tough, dude, man. you know, and then Jimmy would be the guy that steps Jimmy, aside, right? And steps to the side, lets the pass go. So, what were you working on there? Which works uh, for a while, but eventually the guy's gonna. Oh yeah, he's yeah, gonna yeah. catch you, and he's the bulldog. Jimmy, Jimmy worked me so bad. I've never wanted to strangle someone so bad. <laughs> oh no, I know you wanted I to kill like, him. I want to strangle this. Oh, really? It's just, oh, really? Oh, why don't you tell me about it? Why don't you, like, turning everything around the worst, on oh, The worst thing you can do is use somebody's words against them. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. likes that. No, no one no. likes that, you tool. Awful. <laughs> I love Awful. it. Awful. And then Stupid XM decided not to rerun the thing. That wasn't our decision. No, it was not our decision. Did we ever talk about what happened after the fight? I don't even remember. See, Jimmy Elo I, was freaking out. Oh, no, no, not that. I mean, during the show. Like, after that fight went on, then we went on with the show and making believe, not making believe, but then we, I think I just talked to you and then Jimmy just talked to you. And Jimmy and I always leak together. Like, we have to leak every break. Yeah. Every break. And we usually are side by side, right? So, you know, I got to leak. Aww. He's got to leak. And, you know, I'm not, I, I have to leak no matter what. So we walk into the bathroom. Slam. The door slams. And then I go in. Slam. And then he goes into a stall. Slam. And then I go into a stall. <laughs> slam. We're just like talking by not talking. Like, Jesus you motherfucker. And, and we usually like just piss next to each other and have just a little, uh, a little, little, little chit chat little, at the little, urinal. A little show chat. Right. And then he's done with the stall. Slam. I'm done. Slam out the door. Slam, slam. Oh, it's hilarious. Wow. We had to do that for the rest of the show. It was. Ooh. I remember Brandon Iron came in with a chick. And we were watching porn, and that kind of helped us because we had something to focus on that wasn't <laughs> all right. So we were watching porn on the TV and kind of describing the porn we were watching, which which helped a little bit because it, like, it was something outside. Yeah, of what great we were radio. <laughs> what we were talking, we actually, we, you know, we were talking, but doing what we could after that. I mean, it was uh, we, at that point, it was yeah, it was sacrifice whatever's going out over the radio yeah. to just try to make peace in here. <laughs> yeah. Put on porno and let's describe <laughs> and it. Describe that it. was a few days before my HBO special. Because remember, I was off. I took two days off before I shot the special because I knew I was going to need. Just I didn't want to wake up early. I wanted to just relax and yep. do that set. And beforehand, we had announced that this is, and, and Obi even said the other show, Jim won't be here Monday and Tuesday. There's nothing going on that's uncomfortable, oh, that's right. planned. He's not supposed to be here because he's taking off of the HBO. Other thing. shows would play into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, right we didn't at all. We all said, truthfully, no. All the speculation that yeah. was going on, though. And these guys still came to the shows and everything. By the time you guys came, we had talked like two days later. Everything was fine. Oh, no, we were fine before yeah. I went to the show. Yeah. Well, you God. get this shit out. Oh, God. You yeah. get it out.
That yeah. would be a dick move if we didn't talk before you're eighteen. Oh, yeah, no, we did. Holy crap. It's, oh, is that it's a anger good one? leaving your body. It gets out. You fucking shit. That was a fun one. Yeah, you oh, called me a sandwich. sandwich. The one thing that hurt, Jimmy called me a sociopath, and I just oh. kind of know it's true. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> of course he did. Why wouldn't you just use the obvious? <laughs> I know, that wasn't exactly reaching deep. Right? Yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm man. sure Jim appreciated fuckface. <laughs> that hurt a lot. <laughs> stupid me, I'm like, man, I didn't think you ever noticed that part of me before. <laughs> He really sociopath. does know I'm a sociopath. Yeah, there were some uh, great lines to that one. We got another one, Derek? I think we're playing this one.